Alright, next step we're going to do with this before we paint it is I want to uh, do a little body work on some of the stuff like right here you know just uh, just uh, some real real fine stuff you know uh, nothing nothing major just to uh, get rid of some of the gouges and stuff but uh, before we do that I think what I'm going to do is uh, we'll make some gaskets for the side here a gasket for the bottom I don't have to make a head gasket the head gasket is a little different you gotta use a different material so uh, Let's throw you up in a vise and uh, make a few gaskets. All right. Well, first I'm going to do is uh, I'm just knocking down any burrs and making this uh, as flat as possible. And that uh, looks pretty good. It looks like it may have been a burr here and there, but uh, that's pretty flat. All right. We're pretty happy with that. All right, I don't have much gasket material left here, but I should have enough that maybe I could just cut this off here, and then that'll leave me this for the bottom gasket. So we might be able to do that. So let me cut that. All right, instead of cutting that, I'm just going to uh, find the bolt holes and put some bolts and hold it, and then then when I I hit it with the hammer, it'll it'll just uh, find it that way. I know I have as much material as possible. I got an assortment of hammers here. And uh, here's another one here. I'll probably use I'll probably use the two small ones. You know, first of all, I know the we got a hole somewhere around here. There we go. And then one around here somewhere. Unless they moved it. I'm just kidding. Alright, let me find some bolts for them. Alright, I'm just going to put some uh, bolts in here to hold it in place. And then uh, I'll uh, knock these other holes in. It's got two more holes here. And then we'll go around and we'll, we'll tap out that gasket. All right, this stuff is cutting. It's, uh, I usually use the flat end because it's it's sort of got round on it anyway. I'm using a little one, little hammer here. It's uh, this gasket's cutting. It's it's not cutting as crisp as I would like, but it's doing a job. When I come around the corner here, I'll use the rounded end here. Yeah. So. Uh, See, now I can just get this out of the way. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to keep going around and, uh, like I say, seems to be doing a decent job. I'm not crazy about the material, but that's all I got. Alright, let me finish cutting that and uh, we'll get back to you. Okay. I almost forgot there's another little hole right here. Alright, let me get that guy. You don't want to beat that too much because I need to disfigure the rest of the... There you go. That's the hole for the cam. You ready? Let's, uh... Let me go around and get the rest of that. All right, if you guys do make a gasket with the, the hammer like this, uh, just be careful. Take your time and tap at it. You know, you don't have to hit real hard. Because if you want, you can damage. Oh, almost done here. There we go. Yeah, if you want to, you can damage that, uh, that casting. Oh, there we go. I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to pull it out of the way. All right, we got this one done. Now let me, uh, let me get the bottom one. All right, right now I'm just hitting the inside of this with the razor blade. 
normally you wouldn't have to do this but there's a machine surface that fits in here and I don't want any of these fuzzies to get like right there I don't want any of them to get interfere with it okay here we go that one's done all right let's see what it looks like There we go. Not too bad. Alrighty. Next. Alright. A little miscalculation here. Here's the piece I thought I'd be able to use. I don't know if you can see it over here, but it came up uh, about a quarter of an inch short. Right there where the, the cutout was. So, Alright. We tried. I got other material. I got this. I'm not. I'm not very fond of this. You know, I mean, it's good gasket and everything, but it's kind of thick. And I have this. This would work, but it, you know, it looks like cardboard from a cereal box, but it's not. It's real gasket material. But uh, if I recall, I think it might have seeped. You know, oil used to seep through that. So now I had a piece left over here, and we almost got away with it, but it's, this one's a quarter inch too short. Why? With why? So. Alright, I'm going to see if I can hit the store and uh, find the same stuff. I don't remember where I got this. I, I, I think I might have got it from a local uh, auto parts. So uh, It's about dinner time anyway, so uh, we'll get back to you in a few minutes. I found this cork laying around, but uh, uh, felt pro too. Uh, we'll see what we can find. Alright, we're back. Thanks for waiting. Alright. Went out and had some dinner and uh, picked up some uh, some more gasket material here. The stuff says here, I don't know if you can see it. Put my glasses on, because if I can't see it, I know you can't see it. And you got the glare here, so you're not going to see it anyway. But anyway, there you go, it's better looking at it, huh? Alright, anyway, it says here, uh, Best for sealing uh, coolant, gasoline, and oil. But uh, I've used this before, and uh, I don't, if I remember, I wasn't too happy with it. You know, this is the stuff right here that we're using. This is the stuff we're using. This seems to have more plastic or neoprene or whatever to use. You know, it seems seems like it has uh, more of that in there. And this here seems to be more of a paper. But uh, like I say, it says right on there. You know, good for good for gasoline and oil, so we'll we'll do it. We'll put it on there. Now let me cut a piece and put it up there. Alright. This one here didn't have any bolt holes to hold it down, so I got some two-sided tape. That's what that white stuff is. And uh, let's just stick it on here and hold it in place. Like I say, you just don't want it to move, so once you cut it it'll be okay. This is made in the USA. Alright. Let me, uh, let me cut that out and get back to you. Yeah, notice this stuff. This stuff is thinner and uh, it cuts much nicer. See that? It cuts right through this stuff. Look at that. Alright, let me do this. Alright, we've got a little holes here. But they're too small, you know, even, even with the little tiniest hammer to get a nice cut. So what you do is, I use it like a a Phillips head screwdriver. And then you just take it, hit it, and turn a little bit. And then you can actually hear. And then once you get it so far. And that always gives me a perfect hole. That's only, like I said, that's only for small, tiny ones. Alright, for the head gasket here, I'm going to make a template because uh, 
the material is it at here? I don't know where I put it. But anyway, the material's a little tougher, a little harder, so uh, oh here you go. The material is a little tougher and harder, you know, you're not going to beat it out like that. This one here is uh, more of a hard rubber or something like that, I don't know what it is. But anyway, that's head gasket material. And this is head gasket material too, it's got the, the metal sandwiched in between. And you can't even punch through it, it's so tough, but uh, I'll probably go with this. But anyway, uh, we're going to have to make a template. And the last time I made a template, usually what I do is I, I'll get a piece of uh, printing paper or something like that, put it on there and get a pencil and just rub it across and, and get a a template you know well somebody somebody mentioned in one of the comments to use a fingerprint dust you know the kind where the, the cops you know they dust over the you know the feathery thing over the fingerprints and stuff so I did I went and I picked some up here I don't know how well you can see that but uh, it's called Searchy and it's high five volcanic latent print powder so I figured, okay, it's only five bucks, five bucks per thing. So uh, we're going to try that and see what it's like. Then I also took some, uh, here's some graphite here. I just took a file and a regular pencil, number two pencil, and, you know, just, just filed it off. So we made our own dust, our own uh, graphite dust. So we'll, we'll try that. So we're going to try three different ways and see which way I like it best. All right. All right. I guess the first one we'll do is the way I... I usually do it. I usually just get a piece of paper and a pencil here and just uh, go over it. And then once you find the edge, it usually usually leaves a good imprint. And here's your here's your holes. See, like once you find the edge, you usually go right around it, and uh, do pretty good. Okay, let me finish this one up, and then uh, we'll try the next one. Okay. Almost done here. Usually, once you establish where the edge is at, it's uh, it's pretty easy. But you only have to, like, say, you don't have to establish where the edge is at, and it'll just find the dark area. So, okay, it's good enough for this uh, little experiment. So that's what I would come up with, and that would be my gasket. So now, let's try this uh, this searchy powder, fingerprint powder. Okay, this I think this was suggested by Aserta. He's one of my uh, subscribers, been a subscriber for a long time. I think he's uh, over there in England. So, so I'm assuming we just stick our finger in here and, oops, and hold it in place. Okay, we are getting we are getting some results here. Maybe I'm using too much dust. We are getting something. We are getting something here. Oh, all right. I moved it. My my bad. But uh, like I said, it's just an experiment. Okay. It does work. It's a little messier, but uh, yeah, it seems to work better when the less dust you have. Okay. We'll have to try this again with a little less dust. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Okay. There we are. Alright, so it is working. And it seems like you don't really need very much dust. The less dust, the better. But you do need some. So I don't know how you're going to clean that all and wipe it on the table here. Okay. Uh, so far it's working good. Uh, 
I would, uh, I'll give it a passing grade. Okay. So that's what it is. Here it came out. Now we'll cross this one out. And this one was the dust. So it did come out. And uh, I don't know how it looks. It's not very dark. On it. it looks darker in the camera here, but up close it doesn't dark. It doesn't look very dark. But it's uh, dark enough that it would work. So let me get another piece of paper here, and we'll try the graphite. All right, got a new piece of paper here. Now let's. Uh, this is like I said. This is just uh, graphite dust that I, I made out of a pencil. Okay, this seems to be the same. The less you have on your finger, the better. And this seems to be working pretty good. I know there's guys out there that use dust and everything else, but like I say, we're just we're just trying different stuff here. I know the paper's moving around a little bit, but this is just a test. Look them over. We'll see what's uh, what we like best. All right. Out of all of them, put this one up here. This one here is just graphite. Close enough, right? Okay. I'd say the best, uh, the one I like best is uh, just the old pencil trick. It's cleaner, faster, and uh, the lines are all darker. And the dust, the dust is the lightest. It did work. I mean, there's there's no problem not working. It's just it's uh, it's a lot lighter than everything else. And the graphite worked pretty good. So uh, there we go. So I do I do read the comments and I do try uh, I, I do try what people suggest and stuff like that. Now, to, just for a little disclaimer, this this is uh, made in the United States. And the stuff over, I think he's from England, so the stuff from England may be a little different. It may be darker, they may use something else, whatever, but uh, the stuff that I got was uh, Searchy Volcanic Powder, so. I'll leave a link in the description if everyone wants to try that, but uh, that's, uh, that's where we're at. So I uh, appreciate the suggestion, and uh, we tried it, and we got it here. Somebody may like it more than I do, but uh, that's where we're at. I'm not going to make a head gasket now. It's probably, this video is probably getting a little long. So next video, uh, we'll make uh, I'll make some templates and then we'll uh, we'll make ourselves a head gasket. Alrighty, enough of this.